Yeah, definitely. I think you're seeing the big errors in the games. Like, let's take that last minute line out, which is obviously going to be a massive focus. You get it five meters out, you have a chance to go and win the game, and it would have been a huge moment for the tour because it would have lifted the, the entire squad. Um, and the line's, line out just completely mal malfunctions. Rory Best is going to take a lot of flack for that, for his throw, but it's a collective failing. You know, the, the call was wrong there. You could see there was a miscommunication in the middle of the line out. The movement was wrong. The lifters and the jumper actually got mixed up. So, so there was a lot happening in, in that kind of short space of time. I think that's kind of symptomatic of where the lines are. Um, and even in defence, you're seeing it as well. When Rico Iuani scored early in the game, there was just a little bit of confusion in the defensive line. Jack Noel comes forward. Other guys sit off. And there's a bit of tightness around that rock as well. Now, having said that, it's obviously understandable that there's going to be a lack of cohesion early in a tour. But having said that, these guys are, are the best of the best. Um, uh, and, and bringing together that kind of force, uh, the strength of four nations should surely be able to beat um, the provincial variants quite well and certainly beat the Blues, who, as we've said, are, are the weakest of the Kiwi teams. But you're already seeing the strength and depth of Kiwi rugby. Um, some exceptional players out there, guys like Sonny Bill Williams, who are going to feature for the All Blacks, but also guys who are just super rugby players, and that's the kind of extent of their their capabilities. But um, it, it just shows exactly what kind of task the Lions are up against, and and certainly they need that cohesion to, to happen pretty quickly because the games come thick and fast. On Saturday, they're up against arguably one of the best teams, well, certainly one of the best teams in club rugby in, in the world. The Crusaders are undefeated. They've been absolutely outstanding in Super Rugby and they lead the way. So, yeah, they need to find that cohesion very quickly.